Hey everybody, it's David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com and in this video I want to talk to you guys about recording cues and cue lists in Martin M-Series software and MPC. So if you've been following along with these videos, uh, in the last video we talked about recording our presets and so we had previously recorded the groups up here, our different groups of fixtures and the presets down here and so if you don't know how to record um, these presets or groups it, it's very important that you uh, go watch those videos and, and learn how to do that because it's really an essential building block as you're you're working up to build cues um, so that you're able to have flexibility in your show later so we're gonna pretend you've done that assume you've gone through that video and work from there so when we're working with the programmer um, I like to work from this programmer screen now you can also of course work from the 2d plan you know select stuff and uh, go back and forth selecting palettes and, and whatnot um, I like to work from the programmer a lot it's just you know what I'm used to and, and that's not a problem but you know if you had a, a desk with two screens um, or a PC set up with two screens you know you could have your 2d plan on one screen and your programmer on another and that's that's a way that I like to work a lot too when I have that ability but I'm teaching this just from the PC version and so we're gonna stay in the programmer window first thing I'm gonna do to create a queue is select some fixtures in a group and then I'm gonna apply some attributes down here now you can apply attributes from the presets down here so there's an, some intensity gave them a pan tilt gave them a color you can see all this is coming up and referencing the presets here in the programmer or I could go ahead and say coming here to color pop this window up right here and change my color and then I've got an attribute dialed in that's not part of a preset and say I I messed with the the green and you can see now we've knocked that preset out of there but of course I like to use the presets because that means you can go back and change it later without changing all your cues as we talked about and so that's really important and um, a really essential part of, of programming lighting even if you're only you know programming for a one-off um, that personally for me is a lot of my work um, as opposed to touring work where yes you you need to put everything into a preset or group um, but anywho record the stuff you want to record no gobos because these are washes um, we'll zoom it wide and um, and that's what we'll do and so then we're ready to record recording a cue list in M series is very simple and, and it's like a lot of other moving light desks so we're gonna go to our keypad um, you may have this you know on a physical desk or an M touch gonna hit record this window comes up and uh, you can check out the manual or uh, watch some later videos I'm gonna make that are gonna talk about this and, and reference this area where you can filter some different stuff and uh, change the timing um, before you record which is quite handy and um, also use the record options which I'm gonna talk about in just a second but for now I'm just gonna click right here or press the button over top of the queue list and I'm gonna give it a name so I'm gonna call this uh, test list one because I can't think of anything more creative and hit enter and it records right there now at that point I could choose to either clear the programmer or if I'm gonna create a second queue or, or modify what I've already recorded I can leave it up so let's create a second queue first thing I want to do is just change an attribute so I'm gonna change the position boom go over here to my keypad hit record click this list and we're good to go and so it's now recorded that as a second queue in this queue list and when I fire through them um, th there will be two queues that will run in a loop and so that's very important and of course changes will track through and stuff like that just like other consoles now if we want to merge something per se um, say I'm in the first queue and I want to change the position to ceiling so I'm gonna clear everything out gonna grab my washes 
going to go pan tilt, put them on the ceiling, and then I'm going to hit record, Q, 1. going to click right here, and it's going to give me a little window, giving me some options. And, and this is really, you know, this is gold when you're recording. So I'm going to hit merge but you can replace. So so if you don't like Q1 at all and you want to completely replace it with what you just brought in the programmer, you can do that. You can insert a point Q before or after and so that's uh that's going to give you, you know, a Q in between um Q0 and 1 in this case or Q1 and 2 in this case. Um you can remove the values, which is pretty cool. Um or you can edit. And so um, I'm going to hit merge and so now it's merged that into Q1 and the ceiling position has been recorded there. And so um, that's how you record a Q list, just the basics, you know, to get you started. Um, you just simply record things into these Q lists so you can play them back later. And so that's really all I got there. Um, pretty simple, pretty much like other consoles. But if you're new to lighting, new to consoles, I, I totally get it. And, um, you know, this is definitely how the M series works. And so um, in our next few videos, we're going to just keep diving into the software and, and show you how to get started and get going on your first show in M series. Thanks, everybody.